interesting to see, isn't it, how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have now decided to go down this latest venture with Netflix, you know, their new production deal, which, of course, they're hoping will make sure that Netflix release the remaining funds that they are still hoped are going to be held back to them, you know, give them the money. As I've said to you before here on the show, people don't understand necessarily how television works. When you make it a big production like that, you know, you get a little bit of money to make the production and then that is all based on ratings, advertising, sponsorship deals, stuff like that. This is the tricky bit now, making television. I don't know if you've seen this in your part of the world, but over here in the United Kingdom, we get a lot of TV shows now that are behind the scenes of a certain supermarket, a leading brand, that sort of stuff. When you look down the configuration a little bit later on, you realise that that particular company has wholly paid for that programme. And, you know, you're never going to get the real warts and all because nobody's going to offend them because they're paying for it. The ad breaks then have their brand in them. You see how this works now. Now, the bigger issue, as many people realise with Harry and Meghan, is their value is distinctly dropping, even though Meghan herself won't necessarily believe that. What's really plummeting, and this is very interesting, and it is plummeting, is the fact that people now are fed up with the whinge fest that they are. The only redeemable features that they have left really are the introduction of their children, those missing children that we never really see. Prince Archie and Princess Lily, you see? Now, here's where it gets interesting because, once again, their agency really thought this might be a good idea to slowly introduce at least Prince Archie into the proceedings. You know, perhaps he could be a taster in the kitchen, maybe helping Mummy stir something around in a bowl. The R factor, you know, that's the bigger picture. However, what we can tell you, and as ever I have to say allegedly, is Netflix are stumping up no more money. And while originally Harry and Meghan were kind of keen at least to show very fleeting images of their children in their original docuseries, their reality show, no can do this time around unless there's some more money. It's all about money because they're celebrities, they need money, and their security bills are very astronomical, their daily living expenses are very astronomical, and as I said, they don't have the money that people assume they did. A lot of money has already gone and still goes, of course, all thanks to Harry's litigation cases moving forward. So the bottom line for Netflix is if they thought they were going to see a little bit more and maybe have something to hang it on, idea, you know, the kids, well, sadly, that's now not going to be the case. I can also point out, as I've also mentioned, that Netflix really are just riding this out. You know, nobody in the company genuinely believes that this two particular products, the Polo Show and the Lifestyle Cooking Show, are not going to be hits. It's not saucy enough, it's not salacious or scandalous enough, a little bit like their previous series. And what will happen is the series will go out, they'll see it go out and just naturally die, and then the deal will be quietly removed. And a little bit like Spotify, Meghan and Harry will be moving further down the pecking order of the streaming giants. But suddenly, they'll have found the company they truly want to work for. Remember, you heard that here first. No kids, no money, no Netflix. Neil Sean in the very heart of Yorkshire.